What's up, everybody? My name is DJ Spiegelspin, and I'm going to show you how to use one of these splitter cables with DJ Pro AI so that you can use your headphones when you're DJing with just your iPad or if you're DJing with just a Bluetooth speaker like the Hercules DJ Control Mix. All right, let's get started. So in order to do this with the iPad, you are going to need two things in order to plug in for some reason Apple thinks that we don't need audio jacks in our iPad. So we're going to have to use one of these. This is an adapter. It plugs into the USB-C on the iPad and then there is a spot for an audio cable. And the most important thing is there's a spot to charge the iPad. You want to make sure that your iPad stays charged for obvious reasons when you're DJing. So get one that has the charger. Some of them just have the audio cable, but get one with the charger. It's not that much more money. I'll leave links down below if I find ones that I would recommend. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to plug this into the USB-C of our iPad. So that's plugged into the USB-C of the iPad. And then we're going to use one of these splitter cables. I got this one with the Hercules DJ Control Mix. They're kind of hard to find. There used to be one by Griffin and one by Tractor, but they all do the same thing. So make sure that it works tested out before you do a gig. So now this is going to go into this adapter. And now we have these two ports. So we're going to do... One of them is going to go into our speaker. So this one's going to go into our speaker. I'm just using this little Bluetooth speaker. Obviously, I want to use this at a big, uh, large party with a lot of people, but maybe hang out in the backyard. That would be fine. So now that is plugged in. So we have our... We have our audio cable plugged into our speaker. We have our adapter plugged into our iPad. And then now we have this extra port. So all we have to do is plug in our headphones. And you will see on the screen, it's going to give us this message. Please make sure it says split output enabled. Please make sure that we have an output splitter. So this is just recognizing that you plugged in a splitter. So we're going to press, press OK. If you don't, set it to the audio splitter, your audio is just going to sound really weird and it's not going to work. So make sure that the audio splitter is set up. And then now we go to our settings to make sure. So press the middle button, settings, audio device setup. Main output is going out there. pre queuing this is where you'll find it. It's They changed it since they updated the audio setting, the audio device settings. So you have to go into your settings, audio device settings, down to pre queuing and then split output. So now the output is split, and let's see if it works. So I got my headphones. I just have the scratch samples on both sides. So now the you can see where the headphones is. See how it's changing left to right? So now the headphones is on the left, so I should be able to hear this in my headphones but not in, out of the speaker. I hear it in my headphones, but but you guys don't hear it. Now if I move the brush fitter. So now it's on, now it's off. That's it. All you need is those two adapters. It's really easy to do. Do I recommend doing this for professional gigs if you're doing like a wedding or doing a bar mitzvah or a big high paid gig? No, I don't. It is the more adapters you plug into your iPad, the less your reliability would be. So if you plan on doing this professionally and you don't want to spend a lot of money, I would highly recommend getting this, the new Mark DJ to go to touch because by the time you buy the adapter for the iPad, buy the splitter cable, it's going to be around $30, $40. So you could just spend like $89 and have this controller with a built-in sound card. And then you, you would plug in your audio cable to your main output here. And then just simply with no adapters or anything, just plug in your headphones here and then plug the wire into your iPad. 
and you have the same thing. You have the output split. It, you could use your headphones, but it's up to you. If you want to just DJ with the iPad, which I think is cool and you could definitely do, then do it that way. If you want to upgrade it, just get a controller that has a built-in sound card. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to the channel. I make several of these videos a week. Thank you.